Okay, welcome back. Um, so far, we have uh, been discussing the structure of the hand, uh, different fingers, different sizes, different types, um, pointed hands, square hands, and flat hands. And now we are on to uh, discussing the fixed hand, uh, sorry, mixed hands. And mixed hands, uh, uh, we discussed that they could be small, big, um, or very large or they could be uh, narrow or wide. And we discussed some temperament, uh, the extremes of the of the small hands and the big hands uh, somewhat. Um, so we covered this, the size itself. Now we are going to just, um, today um, I'll discuss the, the fingers themselves. So the fingers are, you know, if you look at person, his fingers are very smooth. You know, there are no knots like this. Okay, so it's not knotted or, you know, they're very, very smooth. They are not thin or thick or they don't, you know, bend and make any curves. They're very smooth, nicely, you know, very beautifully carved, nicely straight fingers without anything. This shows a very delicate temperament of a person. It shows the psyche of a person. That what kind of a person that is. Such a person is is, is a delicate and emotional and uh, uh, jumps to the conclusions and um, accepts the the influence very quickly. So if you want to throw something on them, they will very well well um, take it and, and then react to it. So um, you know they you can expect a reaction. Um, in the sense of that they will be very much into what you throw at them and they will be accepting them and they will be reacting to them. So because they are, um, they are, they jump on conclusions, uh, they, they, they are receptive on the receptive uh, side, the recipients, so they, 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 they usually end up making a, a quick, uh, conclusions, they, they jump onto conclusions, uh, and they usually there's a haste in what they do. They do not just think; um, it, it just comes to their mind and they act on it. So um, between the thought that um, occurs in their mind and between what they do, is, is, is there's no um, there's no uh, delay. You know, they they say, okay, I need to go somewhere. They will just take the keys, sit in the car, and go uh, without realizing if they have enough gas or petrol in the car or they have enough finances or uh, it's the wrong time of the hour or maybe vacation is not due. They usually don't think about the consequences. So they mostly, you know, they their uh, decisions are, you know, they are jump. Uh, they are very quick in making decisions, you know. There's no thought process. It's not a well thought um, concept in, uh, with the people with the very smooth fingers. And they're otherwise very delicate people, very nice people. And they, they just confirm. They, if you look in deeply into it, they actually trust a lot of things, you know. It's like their faith into things. You tell them, okay, that place is very nice. And they say, oh, okay, I'll go and visit but the only thing is that they don't consider the circumstances. Um, if it is the right day, there's no planning involved. And that makes them kind of intuitive as well, you know, because pointed finger, nice long fingers, um, they they are intuitive. So they're um, usually they jump on conclusions because they they are intuitive and they are trying to get under the uh, under the, um, the the, the real, um, you know, uh, thing of the, you know, the idea behind you know, whatever they are discussing. So they jump on conclusions. Usually they are very really right about it, you know. It's just that, you know, sometimes, you know, they need to know, okay, I'll do this. This is doable. But sometimes they just forget that there is, you know, to do this, there is a planning involved. So their ideas, you know, are not rejectable, you know. they Whatever they conclude, they come up. The idea is always very good. But all they need to do is, you know, hey, wait a minute, take a deep breath, think over, plan, structure, do things. So then you will be fine. 
So this idea will always work out if they sit down and are able to uh, logically go over things. So because they are intuitive and they jump on conclusions and they are usually right, uh, there's one thing about them, when they meet you, they will come very quickly, they will make a um, an opinion about you. They will, they will on the, on a very first side, they will, they will know if you are a good person or a bad person, or uh, you are an angry person, or you are a, a not harmful, or you are a harmful person to them. So their intuition will um, will tell them, and they will jump on conclusion, and they will make up a mind. So be very careful when you meet these people, when you when you talk to them, try to be very um, you know. Uh, Try to be very simple and, and try to be very straightforward and, and not push things on them because they can they will make an opinion about you and that opinion will last very long because they are not you know rationalizing things it's intuitive they are uh, they are right about it but there's no logic in it in in structured lo logic in other uh, another way it's just intuition is telling them who you are. So, uh, you know, so you may end up saying something that you didn't mean, but they will pick it up and they will throw it on you and say, you know what, you shouldn't have done that. So, so be careful when you talk, talk to such people or deal with such people. So such people are, um, they, they're, they're also artistic, you know, their first impression, they, they, they're, they're actually observant, you know, they, their their um, antenna, you know, their aerial, their antenna, their radar system is, is is like browsing all across, you know, scanning, and they are receiving and they are making very quick uh, impression. So that means you know their observation. So their observation makes them also a very good artist. You know, they could be very good painters. They could could be very good in in. In, um, in in drawing, so you, those nice, beautiful fingers, uh, they will they, you can call them also some somewhat artistic fingers too. So because that's the nature that you know the smoothness it will actually um, give them a a very smooth idea to to work upon. So they just you go they go and implement that as an as an artist. So they are poets, they like songs, they like music, they like to be in a very uh, uh, nice environment which is more convenient and more um, uh, receptive, more uh, um, casual and which is which is not, you know, it's like, you know, they, they feel like being very comfortable um, and they want to be in a very uh, jolly, good um, surroundings because that's uh, because they're on the receiving end, they, they, they feel it, so they want to feel good. So you will see them, they are mostly sensitive people. So because they are sensitive people, they are intuitive, so they are good artists, good writers, um, and part of the society that, um, that gets into, into the fine arts kind of things. And, and naturally, it makes them uh, really emotional in that sense. So they are uh, emotional, so don't try to intimidate them by, you know, because they are not going to have, have give it a second thought. So their first thought will be whatever intuition that comes to them is going to cost you. So be careful with them. So such people don't like to do, uh, be very methodical, logical, structured. Uh, they Therefore, they don't like maths or science or that kind of thing which makes them think put burden on their brain so they are like usually very um they're not so good in in, in mathematics and and anything where they have to sit down and calculate and think and, and put things into into an order uh, so uh, that's that's the nature they have you know in other words they are the opposite of the the people who actually think and and plan and do things under a very structured environment or in a structured format so it's a sensitivity that you are talking about. So they are entirely sensitive people. Receptive, first, first impression is the, is the last impression. And that's good about these people with the, uh, with the very nice, smooth fingers. 
Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can add a, uh, add a picture of the hand. Uh, they're very um, uh, usually, you know, I think I do have one. So I'll add it to the end uh, after this, like, uh, I finish this one. So, you, uh, so um, their impression, the first impression is the last impression. So be careful when you uh, get to the people uh, with, with such hands, they, you actually are paying attention to what you, how you're dealing with them. So once you create a good impression on them, oh, you're fine, you're, a, you're the best person around. So you got all the five stars. So try to get five stars in the very first impression and you will be fine with them. All righty. So I'll see you with the, um, with the opposite of this hand, which is the knotted hands, you know. Uh, you know, a little bit, yeah, not too, you know. Uh, there are some people are really, really very naughty. Um, no, because of my age, so I'm getting a little bit more, you know, more of this. Uh, but it used to be at one point, you know, they used to be literally, you know, you could see my bones. Um, so um, they were really naughty. So you have to consider the age. But that's uh, next video. I'm not going to talk about it. So I know you want to know everything today, but I can't teach you everything in one day. So you had to, be, it has to be day by day, subject by subject, 10 minutes each. Go and do it and practice and find those hands. Look at them, compare those hands with their personalities, confirm what you're learning. If you cannot testify, you cannot confirm what you're learning, hey, this is not knowledge then. So make it a knowledge, learn, apply, and see if it is true and share. Uh, and you will find it. Uh, a lot of stuff which is uh, fundamental stuff, which is really very accurate and very good. Uh, and, and again, you have to be very careful when you look at one hand and see. It's just not the smoothness of the finger and all that, the length, the breadth, the type, the way all three portions, the top portion, the first portion, ends up with the nail, what kind of nail pointed, square, or so a smooth hand could have a flat, a uh, flat, um, you know, nail or pointed nail or um, even square nail. So it's making them a little practical, uh, more practical. So, you know, that is a touch. That's like the pinch of salt that actually makes them different from each other. So, so it doesn't mean that if you have a structure, it's a canvas. Again, it's a canvas. You add uh, more colors to it and you change the personality of a person. So do not just because a general impression, just yes, you can create, then you find out exactly which way they tilt within that band. So it's just a band. So band, if they are uh, towards, like I was saying, pointed hand, square hand, and flat hands, the same way, fingers. So if fingers are too intuitive, least intuitive, medium intuitive, least sensitive, sensitive, extreme sensitive. So you have to actually take the 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 the, uh, the dial, you know, and 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 put it somewhere and say, okay, ten percent, twenty percent, thirty percent, forty percent. How much this person has sensitivity, practicality, intuity, and all those things. So you will have to then confirm, you know, read it in the finest way. All right. So slowly and gradually we'll get there. By just looking, you will be able to make more of the very nice um, impressions and conclusions. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.